Hey everybody, we are back. This is part three of King's Quest Chapter One. Now, before I continue, I wanted to let you all know that, yes, Christopher Lloyd is Old King Graham, the grandfather. And the voice you just heard of Manny, that is Wallace Shawn. Very, very awesome uh, comedian. Uh, there are a bunch of famous names in this um, in this game, so I hope you can all just check them out as you go. So, let's see. Uh, my mom wouldn't let me leave before I finished my breakfast. <laughs> well, my mom whipped up a stack of my special chocolate chip pancakes, and she never lets me leave the house until I finished all my breakfast. Mm hmm. I'll just pencil in. Mama's, Mama's boy. boy. <laughs> now, go on, mingle with the other contestants. Find out as much as you can about them, and when you're ready for the chivalry test, come and see me. Yay. edges of my fingertips when it clasped shut. My arm was pinched between the treasure and its casing. I couldn't stay. If I did, I'd lose circulation and my limb would be lost. If I tried to remove my arm, it would be sliced from wrist to elbow. I didn't have much time. Then, a sharp snort erupted through the shadows. It heard me. There were no options. If that treasure was to be mine, I had to sacrifice my arm for the good of the rest of me. I flung my pinched arm downward as hard as I could. The treasure shook inside, but my arm remained. Footsteps. No time to run. No time to think. Only action! I jumped off the wall and fell into a deep pit. A crash. Treasure everywhere. A yawn behind me. It was awoken. I scrambled to grab each piece and hurtled one into the darkness. Grrr! It called out in pain as I heard its body crash to the floor. Treasure in hand, I escaped and adventured onward. How delightful. And you escaped with all the treasure? Yes. I relished every last bit of that treasure. The flames danced right before my eyes. I couldn't go any- Hey there, I'm Graham. Sure, I'm sure. And your name? What? Well, I, I didn't catch your name. What? Is this true? <laughs> Surely you jest, Greg. What rock did you crawl out from? <laughs> How do you not recognize this well-proportioned face? Well, it's not Greg, it's Graham. And uh, of course I know who you are. You're... You're... Um, uh, the jerk who pushed me into the river. <laughs> Going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting right here, Garrett. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, thanks for knocking that log over out there. Really, it gave me the opportunity to go on a lovely cruise. Those knights were annoying me, and I wanted some alone time. Leave me be, little fly. You don't want to wake the bull. Look, I, I don't want to be in this conversation any more than you do, but I missed the chivalry test, and I need to make it up. The faster we get this over with, the faster I can leave you alone. Well, make it quick. Then buzz off. Okay. I am Graham. What were you hiding in your hand? I'm Graham. Graham no, no last names. I don't even want your first name. And your name? I'm known throughout the land as Sir Conference, but I what? am currently in the process of rebranding myself, starting with my name. You should call me Acorn. Acorn. What was that you were hiding in your paws? Well, none of your business, feather boy. Okay. I have been called feather boy. Seriously, where are you hiding? Seriously, what are you hiding? Is it a snack? Leave it alone, string bean. What was your name again, Sir Fatso? Oh, oh it's acorn. Get it right or pay the price. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Go away. Duke, 
Hello, my name's Graham. Nice to meet you. Ah, Chaka. Ah, Chaka. What type of arrows do you use? So, um, what type of arrows do you fly with? Ah, Chaka. Ah, Chaka. Nice. nice. I prefer the hand whittled sapling arrows myself. Want to partner up? Show Daventry the power of dueling archers? What do you say? Ah, Chaka. Yeah, you're right. You'd probably just slow me down. Where are you from? So, where do you hail from? A Chaka. I see. Sounds exotic. What? <laughs> Good chat. I'm gonna get back to the chivalry test. Manny! Oh, hey, Graham. We were just sharing some tips about the tournament. Let me know if you want the rundown about any of our competitors. Um, what can okay. you tell me about a Chaka? I'm studying his every move. He should make any opponent <coughs> quiver. <laughs> you got me doing it now. He's fast, strong, and vicious with his bow. I'm trying to convince him to join our alliance. But the translation isn't quite working. Um, what can you tell me about Acorn? I can tell you not to mess with those bullhorns in any strength competition. I shouldn't be telling you this, but I heard a rumor that the man keeps a pet squirrel under his belly. What kind of a weirdo does that? Imagine what else he's hiding under there. Neither of us is going to be able to match his strength. If we're going to oust him, we'll need to work together and expose his secrets. What can you tell me about Sir Ten of himself? That's so inconsiderate. Although clever, these silly puns are not very becoming to a gentleman like yourself. Go meet everyone, then come talk to me. I've got a few tips to share. I'm good. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. You unearthed the treasure that was within. I could feel the rich. Yes. Have you remembered my name? Uh, Sir Ten of himself. <laughs> Cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> but now you're starting to bother me, Grant. Well, I, I couldn't help it. Um, no, but seriously, you're... That jerk who pushed me into the river. Oh, yes, that silly feather does look familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> like a limp piece of cheese. <laughs> what you need, Gale, is an upgrade. <laughs> like my mane of excellence. Hey, hey, my mother gave me that feather. I might be silly, but you're. you're. every woman's dream. You got that right. The ladies love, 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 love. Yeah. Who? Who? Who do they love, Gabe? It's not Gabe, it's... Oh, never mind. Yes, your name... You are... You're... Going to have to wait one second. Aww. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting right here, Garrett. Bummer. This is getting annoying. Your special sweater. What do you want? Found out what you're hiding. I, uh, heard what you're hiding. No, you didn't, skinny pants. I did. I heard a rumor that a tiny squirrel pet lives under your belly. What? Who told you that? I bet it was Whisper. He's the worst. His ego is the one thing I can't stomach. And she, well, she's not my pet. She's my friend. Whisper, that's his name. Does your squirrel friend have a name? I wish Whisper would keep his big mouth shut. Her name... <laughs> Is Princess Madeline of Avalon. She's a proper lady. What else is hidden in that belly? The bones of a feather boy if you don't leave me alone. I think you're hiding something else in there, but I'm not sure I want to find out. I'll leave you be. You need to get lost. Okay. It's got unveiled itself. It paired it. Yes. Have you remembered my name? Whisper. Correct. Well, 
Whispers. Full name is Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. The third. No. from Modesto. But I'm sure a fan like you knew that. Would you like an autograph? Uh, I don't seem to have any portraits on me. Well, if you find one, I'll sign it. Free of charge. Whisper loves his fans. Whisper loves the knighthood. Whisper loves <coughs> thwarting evil. But most of all, Whisper loves Whisper. As do we all. I should be getting back to my chivalry test now. Don't go! Whisper can do it! That's a nice thought, but I'm pretty sure those guards would never confuse you for me. I mean, your armor is pretty recognizable. Whisper's armor is shiny, because Whisper loves his own reflection. Yeah, I, I, I get it. Good day, Whisper. Okay. <laughs> yes, Graham? You want some dirt on someone? What can you tell me about Whisper? Whisper? Huh. His feet might fly by without a sound, but his mouth never will. A shining star in his hometown, he hopes to rebuild his fan base in Daventry. I've heard he'll do anything for the spotlight and can never be outshined. People at Arakan are usually primed for a fall. Don't you think so? I'm good. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. Achaka. Achaka, huh? Good chat. I'm gonna get back to the chivalry test. Okay, well, I gotta do something with him now. Um, is there anything specific? Achaka. Okay, let's see here. Do anything, huh? Through the others around me. I wasn't sure. Did you hear the crowds? They all cheer for me. They love me. Okay, can't do anything with them. Maybe I'll just hope for the best. Are you ready for the chivalry test? Let's do it. Question one. <coughs> Is the only knight competing in the tournament? that speaks multiple languages. This will be... A chaka. All right, next question. This knight hopeful hails from a land far outside of Daventry. Based on the odds, he is favored to win the competition. Mm. Shoot. Um. Acorn? Okay, moving on. What is the full name of the fastest contestant in the competition? <laughs> oh, good God. Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. the third of Modesto. I'm sure. I see. Last question. Who or what is the favorite companion of the strongest competitor? Princess Madeline of Avalon. She sounds quite charming. Okay, let's see here. Tallying, tallying. It looks like you got two answers correct. Oh. Why don't you go and mingle? Gather some more fun facts about your fellow competitors. Return to me when you're ready to take the test again. Oh. Mm. Okay. You again? What was your name again, sir? Boris? Uh, it's Acorn. Get it right or pay the price. Does your squirrel friend have a name? I wish Whisper would keep his big mouth shut. Her name is Princess Madeline of Avalon. She's a proper lady. What else is hidden in that belly? The bones of a feather boy if you don't leave me alone. I think you're hiding something else in there, but I'm not sure I want to find out. I'll leave you be. Scram! Scram! Scram, Graham, huh? Oh, can't go that way. Do Shreki Nika Hornswoggle. Naga Naga. Shreki Hornswoggle. Yes, Graham? You want some dirt on someone? 
what can you tell me about Acorn? I can tell you not to mess with those bullhorns in any strength competition. I shouldn't be telling you this, but I heard a rumor that the man keeps a pet squirrel under his belly. What kind of a weirdo does that? Imagine what else he's hiding under there. Neither of us is going to be able to match his strength. If we're going to oust him, we'll need to work together and expose his secrets. Okay, what about... What can you tell me about Achaka? I'm studying his every move. He should make any opponent quiver. <laughs> you got me doing it now. He's fast, strong, and vicious with his bow. I'm trying to convince him to join our alliance. But the translation isn't quite working. Okay. What can you tell me about Whisper? Whisper? <laughs> his feet might fly by without a sound, but his mouth never will. A shining star in his hometown, he hopes to rebuild his fan base in Daventry. I've heard he'll do anything for the spotlight and can never be outshined. People at Arakan are usually primed for a fall. Don't you think so? Okay. What about you, Manny? Goodbye. Come on. Tell me about you. Okay. Okay. Are you ready for the chivalry test? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Question one. Who is the only knight competing in the tournament that speaks multiple languages? Well, that is a... A chaka. A chaka. All right. Next question. This knight hopeful hails from a land far outside of Daventry. Based on the odds, he is favored to win the competition. That'd be Manny. Manny. Okay. Moving on. What is the full name of the fastest contestant in the competition? <clears throat> okay. Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. the third of Modesto. I'm sure. I see. Last question. Who or what is the favorite companion of the strongest competitor? A slick handcrafted bow. Princess Madeline of Avalon. She sounds quite charming. Okay, let's see here. Tallying, tallying. It looks like you got two answers correct. What? Why don't you go and mingle? Gather some more fun facts about your fellow competitors. Return to me when you're ready to take the test again. Jeez. Oh, In a grin wider than my arms could stretch. My Back it up! Back it up! Back it up? Okay, so I gotta figure out... a Shaka here. Yaki yaka mata! Afa mata? Shweki! Afa mata! Shweki maka maka dun ga waka ga! Do shweki nika! Horns waka! That didn't naka, seem naka. like a good shweki idea. Shweki hainga maka maka! I saved my life! Ki! Ke e! Du! A Shaka! Um, so, where do you hail from? Ajaka. I see. Sounds exotic. Um, want to partner up? Show Daventry the power of dueling archers? What do you say? Ajaka. Yeah, you're right. You'd probably just slow me down. Good chat. I'm gonna get back to the chivalry test. Um,. Okay, I'm gonna try something here. I'm trying to see if there's anything I might have missed. Are you ready for the chivalry test? Sure, why not? Let's do it. Question one Who is the only knight competing in the tournament that speaks multiple languages? Oh, many. We're friends, you know. We have kind of an alliance. Next question. All right. Next question. This knight hopeful hails from a land far outside of Daventry. Based on the odds, he is favored to win the competition. That would be... A chocker. Okay. Moving on. 
What is the full name of the fastest contestant in the competition? <laughs> Sir Walter Harris, Ignatius, Sally, Percival, Eduardo, Ramon Jr. the third of Modesto. I'm sure of it. I see. Last question. Who or what is the favorite companion of the strongest competitor? Princess Madeline of Avalon. She sounds quite charming. Okay, let's see here. Tallying, tallying. It looks like you got all the answers correct. Yay. Great job, Pockets. Now, we shouldn't keep your new friends waiting, should we? Let's start the show. Welcome, everybody. You were all here to win a knight position on King Edward's court. But that's not all. As you all know, tragically, the king has no heirs. So, this position could very well lead to the crown of Daventry itself. Now, let's officially commence the competition part of the tournament. I do hope you've all made friends, because it's about to get nasty. The time has come to collect your entrance tickets. Oh, uh, oh over here! Over here, I got mine right here! I'm sorry, I really am, but that is not an entrance ticket. In fact, from up here, it looks like a, a sweaty piece of cloth. Oh, probably just a snot rag. <laughs> Each night hopeful will need to bring back to the theater, dum 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 dum, one eye of a hideous beast. And due to Proclamation 1748.2, it will actually need to be a hideous beast. Oh, jeez. Like last year, no adorably cute, fuzzy, or tiny creature eyes will be accepted. Thank you. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Any hideous eyes to find in Daventry. We urge you to take this opportunity to show us your skills. We want to know what's in your heart, how you think, and how you react in the face of danger. You might not believe all that can be interpreted from one eye, but we will still judge you all the same. Now, everyone, go forth and claim thine eyes. Okay. Keep that under construction. Apparently there's a lady here. <clears throat> Watch your step, kid. Oh, thanks. I know it ain't fancy, but it'll have to work for now. Amaya Blackstone, nice to meet you. Graham, the pleasure's mine. It's nice to see all these bridges are getting fixed. All these bridges? No, kid. This contract is over. Daventry can't afford me anymore. They can't even afford oil for the crumbler over there. My own invention, of course. Oh, what does a crumbler do? It lifts, it chops, it crumbles. Most importantly, it brings in the monies which are desperately needed. Been kind of rough around here lately. It seems that way. Daventry's been an interesting experience so far. Different from what I read in my travel books. Honestly, I'm starting to wonder if it's for me. Don't worry, kid. It's not you. This kingdom's been going downhill ever since the moon died. And now, with the bridges out, no one can get into Daventry. It's really quiet. I hate the silence. I'm a woman of action, if you couldn't tell. Quiet towns don't pay the bills. I can see that. Well, I should get going. Perhaps someone's wandered into my shop. If you make it there, come say hi. I'm on the left. I could use that. So, how did you find an eye? It was a hideous beast lurking inside. Ouch! A rude. <laughs> a rude. Shame. These could have been carved into really nice jack o' lanterns. Okay. So, walking. Oh, hello. 
What is this? No one should notice one bell missing. King Edward gave us everything we have. His legacy was tarnished in his later years, but he was a once great man. And he loved me with a tavern tree to grow. <coughs> Okay, so going this way. Uh, how precious. The badger wanted to make friends with the squirrels. <laughs> Dumb lanterns are always breaking. You hear that, Chester? You're a hack! Not everyone around here takes pride in their work like I do. Unfortunately, those blue flames are the only things that spook the pack. So I'm forced to return to their shop of wizardry and toiletries. Wedzel wolves are super aggressive this time of year. Usually, they travel north to the hills of Serenia for mating season. But like us, they are stranded here until the bridges are fixed. Hey, kid, can you do me a favor? I can try. Can you help me keep that back door closed? I run the local Wedzel Wolf Watch program here in town. There's patches getting made. If you keep that door closed, you can be an official member. Think it over. Patches! Okay. I walked into town with my last coin. Whatever path I chose to pursue for my eye would need to be cheap. Really? I'm only down to one coin? Oh. If you like sharp things, you've come to the right place. We have over 23. Oh, forgive me. Last night was a little rough. I woke up on the floor. My bed nowhere to be found. Can you believe that? What type of Yahoo steals a bed while you're sleeping in it? <laughs> and the most curious part, nothing else is missing. Usually, that sleep depriver would be hunted down and fed to the crumbler. But today is different. Today, I sold a shield while I was out watching the parade. And money always puts me in a better mood. Anyway, take a look around. Let me know if something piques your interest. So, you know what you want? Um. Do you have any idea where I can hunt <coughs> down an eye of a hideous beast? What a glorious day for a tournament. My favorite time of year. Fire ride new recruits, the clanks and clinks of armor clashing, and the action the very finest. One hopeful always rises to the occasion. I love it all. Some people in town, they complain about the barbaric events, but it's a tradition I'm proud I like that. to be part of. That if I was competing, I'd go after the biggest, scariest beast I could find. Even if it meant certain death. As they say, fortune favors the bold, And I see braveness in those eyes. It's not fully developed yet, but it's there. That little flicker of fire dancing in your stare? I'm gonna watch you closely. It may be time for a new apprentice. Uh. So, I've been meaning to ask. What is that amazing blade? <laughs> battling vicious werebears? How many ice orcs has it slain? Does it deal justice? Is it road legal? Is it made of fear? Oh, that? No, no. That's for gardening. I use it to trim my hedges. Seeing as my place is all tended to, and my petunias are most lovely, I'm willing to part with it for the price of one shiny gold coin. I'm sure you've got a prickly situation that needs attending. How much for that gardening tool? One shiny gold coin. What was your advice again? We need a traditionally brave knight in Daventry. One that can cut through all the new policies and rules, and instead get out there and protect our borders from enemies. We need a knight that can fight off our dragons. Bye. Don't forget leg day. Leg day. Did you do it? Did you spend your only gold coin on the epic weed whacker? Yes. I did. The bowl costs a fortune. Now, Graham, 
promise me you will only use this for its intended purpose. I shall be brave in all my hedge trimmings. Those plants will never see it coming. Yay! What's this? You can post a work order on anything you want lifted, chopped, or crumbled. Then I'll bring out Mrs. Crumbler to fulfill the order. You can post a work order on anything oh, you want cool. lifted, chopped, or crumbled. Then I'll bring out Mrs. Crumbler to fulfill the order. Okay, so I know where I'm going. Okay. It's back this way. Thank you. So, I got to go up this way. I think this is where the well is. Go big or go home, right? Okay. Whoa! Hey, I lost it. The hell? Bye bye. I was a few steps behind, but I was hopeful a beast was in that well, and I wanted an eye to impress everyone. But Grandpa, the dragon lives down there. I didn't know that yet, Gwendolyn, and pretend you don't either. This story takes place before the one I told you last night. Sometimes a story is best told out of order. Oh. <laughs> Got it. So Christopher Lloyd must come from the school of Stephen King storytelling. I was out of my league down there. But I had something to prove. Okay. This one? Thank you. Hey! Uh, hey! Whatever's down here, it's mine. Okay. That might come in handy later. There wasn't much to see that way, so I turned around and went back. Oh, it has I have to do something with this. Okay. So yeah. Follow him, okay. Afamata. Afamata. Come on, hurry up. Water. Watch. What? Oh my Afamata. god. Afamata. Afamata? I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold your hord horses. Water. 
watch. Okay, go to the right. Back up. Left, left, forward. Uh oh. Then head back. Oh! And then we paused there for some tea and cake. No, we didn't. <laughs> Oh, Christopher Lloyd. I wonder if he made his own lines. What a... Why? Drag. Why? <sighs> you. Walk. Fly. Rip. Okay. Such a do like a sorry hero. Gotta wait for it. Oh, there we go. Run, 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 run. Up. Climb, 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 come on. The long way, he took the astounding way. No matter that I would be by. Wait for it. I love the visuals. This is pretty cool. Oh, shoot. Oops, sorry, dude. Run! Ah, run! Must run faster, must run faster! Go! Damn it! Graceful. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. I'm in a cage. Bye. <laughs> Too big. They have to work together to do this. That's cool. Puka. Puka. <laughs> okay. Off Ow. Give me a hat. I like this guy. Open the door. Tail. Shoot the tail. Okay. Give me the bow. Oh, I see. Buta! Uh, still on, still on. Still on. Looks like now I needed him. Huh. <laughs> Buta. Not a uh, still on, still on. <laughs> I put this up. He shoots that. Up and up. Okay, we're walking across. Okay. Put this up. Buta! Up and up. Oops. Buta! Up and up. 
Okay, here's this one. Guess not. Um, Buta! Buta, I guess, means ready. I forget to do some. Okay. Take this down. Buta. Up and up. The hell? Oh, I see. Okay. Buta. Now I get it. For those of you who don't play point and click adventure games, this is pretty much it. It's all trial and error. Okay, so. Move it over. Then get uh, still on, still on. Ooh. Ooh. Get back on it and we'll cross back. Come on. Okay, so take this down. Go ahead, Mr. Archer, dude. Buta! Off and off. Okay. Go up on here. Okay, put this up. This is going to be a bad idea. Fire. The dragon doesn't feel that. You gotta be kidding. The dragon does not feel that. <laughs> Time to ring the bell. Where is that? There we are. What? I like this guy. 
Oh. <laughs> this guy is awesome. I like him. Okay. Okay. Maybe, oh, do I have to? I gotta find a way to get him out of there. Hmm. This way, maybe? Ah, oh, okay. Again. Higher up. Aim. Wow. Fire. Hey. Okay, I'm coming. God, you're a big dude. What? Hey, do you think we could share that dragon eye? Swerky, Alpha Mata. My thoughts exactly. Nope. It's tricky. <laughs> Weep. Him. But there's the bow from the beginning. I'm done. I am done. This is not for me. Going somewhere? Yes, I'm going home. Where I belong. I was promised wonder and adventure and fantastical floating islands. What I got was a Daventry that will never live up to what it once was. Daventry needs you, Graham. I know it's not what you expected, but give it time. We can work through the kinks together. It can be great once again with the right people in charge. I'm not that person. And you should stop believing in me. I could get you killed. Fine. Leave. Be a dentist for all I care. I guess the Chaka was wrong. What? what? Eh, nothing. It was nice meeting you, Graham. Spill it. Well, 
Achaka and I were chatting during your chivalry test, and he had some thoughts about you. Didn't you find it odd that Achaka entered this tournament, Graham? Did he ever tell you why? Well, he might have. I only learned two words of his language. A horrendous famine struck Achaka's village, Ichtuwe. He left his suffering family to enter this tournament. He hoped to seek an audience with the king to plead for help. It was a long shot, even for him. Great. So because of me, a whole village will starve. That makes me feel better. No. Because of you, a village will be saved. Achaka was impressed by you. He told me he was watching you on your travels to Daventry, and that you seemed like the type of person that could inspire change. More so than those bucket heads, anyways. I... I... Uh... I if you're not gonna compete for yourself or me, do it for the Ichtuans! They need you! You're their last hope. I couldn't go back if I wanted to. After all that, I didn't even get an eye. Here, have one of mine. What? I have plenty. No excuses now. For those brave souls that are still with us, welcome back. Now, you may have heard some squawking from a few naysayers in our kingdom concerned with the ethics of the tournament. But proclamations and addendums aside, this is the way we have always done it in Daventry, and this is the way we will continue to do it. Now, Knight Hopefuls, if you would be so kind as to present your eyes. Uh, hold still. He seems distressed. I don't know why. It looks as though his pre-order went through. <laughs> Do you remember your eye? Oh yes. It once belonged to a hideous majestic unicorn. You know, before the proclamation. Congratulations, everybody. We officially accept all the eyes presented. I'll see you in the duels. Take that and that. Oh. Mr. Springbottom. What? You're surprised I'm competing in this stuffed animal tournament? Oh, jeez. You know what? I will make some stories of my own. <laughs> I'll pick up where my last book left off. It was called 31 Ways to Slay a Monster. Oh, jeez. Can't do it, Mr. Springbottom. Yar, yar, yar! Yeah, yeah! Gwendolyn! <gasps> oh, no! Oh, I'll take care of it, dear. I came to tell you your grandfather is ready for you. Run along, go have some adventures. Just try to have your next adventure away from my glass vases, please. Now it's time for my favorite part of the tournament, the duels. <laughs> you will compete against each other in a duel of strength and a duel of speed, with the winners facing off in a championship duel of wits. The pairings of knights were selected at random, so no complaining. I'm looking at you, Whisper. Any time <laughs> we settled in sudden death. The winner, of course, will gain the knight position. The duel of strength will take place at our fantastical and wondrous floating island. And bring your steed to the tournament theater for the duel of speed. Please unveil the tournament ball. I will remain here for any questions. Good luck! Okay, everybody, I'm going to end it on this one. Um, yeah, that last one was a little morbid, but... Uh, anyway, I'll see you in the next video, guys.